Nancy Dreyfus. Talk to me like I'm someone you love. Relationship repair in a flash. Have you ever been in the middle of a confrontation with your partner and realized that you weren't getting anywhere? Chances are you were using the wrong words. Maybe your language wasn't accurately directing the conversation toward a resolution. Maybe you weren't open to understanding one another's arguments. Maybe you were criticizing and refusing to listen to each other. Words have an impact, and communication is essential in keeping a relationship intact. If there's no communication, there's no relationship. But changing the energy between the two of you from unfriendly to friendly can make all the difference. This blink will show you how. Acknowledging a change in direction is a powerful intervention. It's okay, and even critical, to recognize that your interaction isn't going well and that you need to change your approach in order to better understand one another. This helps boost your inner awareness of the situation and how you're feeling. It's a powerful intervention that requires you to be straightforward with your partner. Some useful ways to do this are to first acknowledge how you, as the initiator of the conversation, are feeling, and to acknowledge how your partner is feeling. Then try following this emotional validation with a question. For example, can we start again? Or can you repeat what you're saying but in a calmer tone so I can feel safer with you? Or can we take a minute to start over and really listen to what each other is saying? Changing direction and validating each other's feelings can transform a conversation and establish trust. It presents the desire to want to repair things and the willingness to listen to your partner. Sometimes we're so focused on being heard that we forget that our partner has the right to be heard as well. And sometimes we only hear what we want to hear, but that's not effective listening. So let each other feel received. Offering this kind of vulnerability allows your partner to truly see you. Validate each other's feelings. While we already discussed a little about the importance of validating feelings in the last section, Let's explore it more in depth here. When you're in the midst of an argument with your partner, the two of you are passionate about being heard and likely with proving yourself right. What's important is to level the playing field by respectfully asking to be heard and assuring that your partner will be heard too. If your partner is refusing to be communicative, tell them why that hurts you. Tell them it makes you feel unwanted by them, that you aren't important to them. Try something like this. When you refuse to communicate with me, it feels like I am nothing to you. Can you please talk to me and let me relate to you? A lot of conversations and arguments between partners struggle to reach the actual issue at hand because they're so often lost in the criticism of one another. We're often so conditioned to criticism in life that it's hard to find a way past it. It's often a go-to resort in arguments. But insults aren't going to get you anywhere. So tell your partner you want to be talked to like you were someone they love. Tell them you feel invisible. Acknowledge how they may even be feeling, angry, nagged, sad, but why you want the conversation to continue. It's okay to be vulnerable. Be open. Ask to be heard. Allow your partner to be heard. Get clarification where you need it and don't be afraid to apologize when you're in the wrong. Your relationship will fail if you don't open up to each other. 
Try writing your words down on a note card or a piece of paper and showing them to your partner. Seeing them visually instead of being heard can be a profound interaction. Take responsibility. Absolutely do not be afraid to apologize and admit when you were in the wrong. In fact, your partner will likely value you more if you take responsibility for something you did or said. It's simple awareness. Taking responsibility is an influential part of healing relationship dynamics. Maybe your behavior was erratic. Maybe you overreacted to something that happened or something that was said. Maybe you put up an intentional blind spot and just refused to listen to what your partner had to say. Admitting these kinds of things will build trust with your partner. It happens to all of us. You don't have to feel embarrassed. It's normal to hold things in because you feel like you're protecting yourself and don't want to get hurt. Maybe you feel entitled to feel or speak a certain way. Maybe you feel that if you admitted that you did something wrong, you'd be belittled. Try using sentences like these to express how you feel. I recognize that I really hurt you. How can I make this up to you? I understand that my behavior has been really destructive. Admit that your behavior was unnecessary and why your partner didn't deserve to be the recipient of that behavior. Acknowledge that you hurt them and that it wasn't your intention. Work on your communication. Making up is a powerful thing and it feels good when you're finally able to come to that resolution. But it can't just be making up with one another. There has to be forgiveness. It must be mood changing, lower the defences and allow everyone to relax properly. Importantly, it brings two disconnected beings back together. Here are just a few examples of what to say or show to your partner when you're ready to let go and make up. I see how upset you are and it makes me feel truly terrible. Can we just take a moment to stop and hold each other? I want to give you a hug. Messages like these offer a direct request to move forward. They also acknowledge that what matters most important to you, the sender of the message, is how your partner is feeling and not anything else. It allows you both to see that neither of you has disappeared and you're capable of healing the hostility. In this blink to talk to me like I'm someone you love by Nancy Dreyfus, you've learned that Tone and word choice can severely impact a conversation or argument with your significant other. The way you exhibit your emotions can prevent effective communication as well. If you're constantly insulting or putting the blame on each other, your relationship isn't going to get anywhere. The key to proper communication is relating to your partner. Let them be felt and heard but also make sure you are felt and heard. Thanks so much for listening. Please leave us a rating or a comment. We always appreciate your feedback. See you in the next blink. <laughs>